lesson for today is titled, An Ocean of Love. Have you ever gone for a walk beside a rushing mountain stream? Maybe you live in a place where there are many such streams not too far from where you live. Or if you don't, maybe you've been able to visit a place that has them. It can be so peaceful and relaxing to watch the water flow and to hear the water rushing over the rocks. Now let's think of an even smaller stream. This kind of stream is so small that it's not any trouble to cross it without a bridge. In fact, in order to cross it, all you would need to do is take one big step from one side of the stream to the other. That would be a very small stream, wouldn't it? We are going to use this very small stream to help us understand something about God's love. First, think about all the love that all people who have ever lived has showed each other. Think about all the parents who have loved their children and children who have loved their parents. Think about all the husbands and wives who have loved each other. Think about grandparents and grandchildren. Think about all the other people who have loved each other. Of course, many people have not been loving. But still, don't you think there's a lot of love? It really is. Now, let's imagine that all of this human love that has ever been shown is like that very small stream that you can easily cross without one step. Then what would God's love be like? How big would it be? A large stream? A very large river? No, those aren't nearly big enough. It would be like a great ocean. Our Earth's biggest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. And it is so big that crossing it from Australia to Canada in a jet airplane takes over 13 hours. God's love is really far more than we can ever begin to understand. And how amazing it is that he loves each one of us. 